unboxing a gas-powered two-stroke jackhammer. Um, this particular one we bought off eBay. It's uh, the cheapest one we could find. Um, I believe it was $225 uh, shipped to the house, free shipping. Um, I looked around a little bit. Uh, they have a four-stroke uh, model at Northern Tool, and it's uh, $299. Um, I've used a two-stroke model before, and I liked it, so... I think this will work fine for what we're doing with it. And I just wanted to show you guys. We ran into a situation where we have, we were digging a, a hole or a trench for a, uh, electrical line and we ran into a lot of very large rocks one super big rock uh, on the top you get a pair of really cheap uh, safety goggles yeah I don't know that I'll ever wear those but and you also get a pair of uh, just cotton knit uh, gloves okay there's the the manual that I usually never read <laughs> it's supposed to come with two uh, two bits here's the one with the pointed bit. Um, my other plan for this is to drive the eight foot grounding rods for um, for the electrical, the new electrical service we're putting in uh, for the mobile home that we're installing. Um, and the ground is so rocky, it's really hard to drive those eight foot grounding rods all the way in. Um, I've got a 12 pound sledgehammer and it, it takes me all hours to get it in. So I'm gonna try, maybe this thing will will work to, to drive the grounding rods in. I, I My plan is, it's got two of these bits and I rarely ever use this sharp pointed one. So I'm going to uh, cut it and weld a piece of uh, three quarter or half inch steel pipe on the end, just a little short piece like that. And that'll hold the grounding rod in there. And then I'll try to just use this thing to drive it down. Um, I'll show you that if, if I ever, if I'm able to, if it works. There's number two, that's the straight flat bit. the actual machine it's supposed to be 52 cc's I seem to recall adding some kind of oil down here. When, um, it's not oil for the actual motor, it's for the, the mechanism that, that uh, makes the chisel bit work. The gas goes in here um, and it's mixed with oil because it's a two stroke. 
This thing's made in China. Uh, one thing I can see right off the bat is the, the throttle is loose and it also doesn't have any spring to it. Maybe I'll take that apart and uh, see why that's not. The one I used before, you would you'd use the throttle and when you let go of it, it would return back. But it's not doing that. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how this uh, bit goes in there. Um, the flat part, the flat side of this goes up against the part where it has a little, little pin there. And uh, that, uh, you twist that around and that, that holds it in there so it won't fall out. But that's how it goes. That's how it, it, it just stays loose in there. And uh, we'll give you a video uh, of us actually using this machine uh, to come very soon. Um, I still got a couple more things in the box. You get a funnel. Uh, let me set this down. Get a funnel with a screen in it. Uh, it looks like a spark plug tool and an Allen wrench. Uh, the Allen wrench is probably for, for those. You get a small tool kit. Uh, more Allen wrenches. A screwdriver. Uh, an extra spark plug. An eight and a 10 millimeter open end wrench. And one, two, three, four Allen wrenches in there. And then a gas mixing bottle. It says 25 to one on that. That would be 25 parts gas to one part oil. I'm not sure if that's the, the mix, but that's pretty, that's a lot of oil. <laughs> I'm used to a chainsaw that's close to the, I think 40 to one. So I'll have to read the, the, the book on that to see if it's 25 to one or not. All right, thank you. Uh, video will be uh, coming shortly of me using this thing. Mm -hmm.